Hi everyone, and welcome to the journey of going to stage 4. I'm my goldsmithing shield. So I am at... 99.90 for my craftsmanship and my shield. You get a craftsman bonus of crafting with fire crystal. So let's hit 100. Gonna pop some um, kitchen macarons. Gonna get synthesis support, advanced synthesis support. And let's make that nugget. Let's make this brass ignot. Yeah. So we're going to take some ingredients here. One zinc ore. Three copper ores. And let's hit it. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? There we are guys at 100% yay and HQ at the same time. So let me tell you a little bit about stage 3. Some very useful information. First of all it's less than a week and here we are. Stage 3 is much easier than stage 2. So keep that in mind. So you're gonna get some relief after stage 2. So this stage is much easier. Uh, something interesting. You notice the craftsmanship is 100% right? The thing with with uh, skilling that up is if you do skill up outside the bonus area you are risking getting a penalty. So the penalty caps at uh, minus 30. So the way I was doing it, like if I got to like minus six, minus five, then I did a couple of bonuses and it went completely disappeared. So usually one bonus uh, synthesis like craft and fire day will remove uh, one minus. So it goes back to zero very quickly. Uh, so that's one thing. Another thing, uh, well, the the kits, the test kits, uh, you keep doing the same synthesis. Basically, the, the level 80 synthesis, where you have uh, Mercury, Golden Ignat, and uh, some shield, I forgot the name, but you can get it for Sparks, and uh, that seems to be the most effective synthesis. About 12 of them will get you a thousand uh, crafter points. So that's been taken care of. Uh, one thing I want to bring to your attention is this. So in stage two, we had to satisfy records of eminence requirements. At stage three, you have customer orders. So I'm in this uh, this phase, right, for gold smithing. So the way this works that uh, they will give you one of all of the orders per group. So you will get one for A, one for B, one for C, one for D. Keep in mind that this guide, the quantities here are um, arranged in terms of the, the prices of the ore. So platinum ore is much more expensive than gold ore, right? But when you look at auction house, it really does not translate. This is the path that I took, right? For A, the best uh, cost-effective synthesis is gold gauntlets. Getting the 50 of them, right? The next synthesis, the easiest one is diamond earrings. Then is topaz ring. Why topaz? Because the earth element is not uh, uh, heavily camped. So it's not priced that high compared to the other ones. And then uh, you go with platinum ingots. The first three ABC you can only craft when you're next to the NPC. So don't craft outside the NPC because it will not count. When you finish crafting the item, 
you trade it to him right away or to her right away and you're gonna get it accounted for if you leave uh, his area it will be discarded and you cannot give it to him and they don't accept uh, high quality so make sure you have that nq ring and d is basically a joke you don't have to craft next to the npc they just want the the actual item so you can buy a 70 platinum ingots from the auction house and just trade it right there so this uh, phase is very very easy so let's get to it right so let's get uh, first uh, the crafted items so exchange crafter points so what we need to get is the first two the other two are the ones that you get for orders and if you happen to break the shield or uh, you happen to sell them by accident to npc you can uh, get them back so let's get the first one and then let's get the second one all right the so next thing we gotta do is we gotta trade the uh, shield to our guild master so let's remove remove that thing oh, it's in wardrobe too i think i have it at the end yep let's trade it to her Okay, so she gave me the Craftsman Crystal. Alright, so here we go. So let's uh, look at... Uh, Alright, so this thing is with Earth Crystal. So they should be at the end this one this one this one this one it's a lot of ingredients then the shield itself oh oh doesn't like it did i miss something so after several hours I'm back. I made 10,000 crafter points. So let's get the missing screw. That was so frustrating because they ran out of gold in notes and it was just the project. But as you guys can see, I have 10,000 now. So let's get another platinum screw. So this will allow us to do the synthesis. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention for the deliverables. So I specify what you need to craft, I mean craft or deliver, but uh, you know, there's so many other things that they can make you do. So if you don't like something, just tell the good master that you uh, you're getting tired of it and then you want to change. So you come back the next uh, game day and you can try again until uh, she gives you the ones that you want. All right. So let's do this now. So we have an earth crystal. Now we have two platinum screws. The other item. Here we go. Here we go. And we even forgot the advanced synthesis support. But here we go, here we go. This can break, guys. But it didn't! Thoracic shield! Yeah, man! Yeah! Woo! So let's uh, pay this to a fine lady. Oh, looks so good. Goldsmithing synthesis speed plus 60. Hmm.
Oh, we learn a new thing. Goldsmith Argentum Tom. Wow. So let's head out to Port Juno and say hi to Amitra. Well, this is where the difficulty hits. At some point, I have to work with the spheres, which are basically a synthesis based on skill chains. But you know, let's uh, let's uh, you know, once we get the, then we we'll try to come up with some strategy for this. But, uh, here we are. Muk Charos up here. Yeah, here we go. Trade. <sighs> All right, so we need to zone out like before. So this time around there is no penalty on the shield. So you can actively use it for all your synthesis. And you can start crafting uh, as you three uh, uh, gears. So here we go. Toreotic shield. So there'll be a piece that I need to do once I get it to 100%, which is the spheres. All right, so let's go back to a gold master. You know, I'm actively crafting and um, farming as I do this so I'm basically did not lose any gear on this so I'm pretty much even but this is the expensive stage this is what's coming up you can dent you for over a hundred mil let's see all right, let's trade this to our fine lady. All right, so let's get this thing arranged. So we put it in a wardrobe or thoracic shield. Okay. Modify our set. Right in front of the gold master, yeah. Let's pop it. Equip set 19. 
Dun, 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 dun. Here we are. Here we are. Woohoo! Let's pause with a with a good master. Uh oh. Rimberta and Grass representing Goldsmith and Guild. Now the grind will start. Whoa, so close, guys. Stage four shield. Thank you so much for watching. As you've seen to the first four stages, this is not that scary, okay? Lots of people stop at this stage, but look what you got, right? Look what you got, right? You have a basically plus two goldsmithing. You craft faster because of the speed. There's no penalties uh, on this shield. So it's, you can stop, but you know, we don't want to go halfway. We want to get this done, done for the people, you know, done for the server. You know, let's, let's get this thing done. I'm all psyched. All the best. Please subscribe. I'll keep you posted. Peace everyone. Bye bye.